Today I'm going to show you five different exercises to strengthen your hips for better kicks in martial arts. I'm going to use yoga blocks. If you don't have blocks, that's totally fine. Use whatever you have available in your home. Ideally, things that are of different heights. So as you get stronger doing these exercises, you can challenge yourself more and more. First exercise, I'm going to have the blocks on the floor like this, sitting with my legs out in front of me. Um, if you need to, you can sit back. Um, if you're not as strong to start, lean back on your hands. That's the easiest way of doing it. As you get stronger, try and challenge yourself by sitting more and more upright. You'll feel it much more quickly in your quads that way. You can have your toes up or pointed, whatever's more comfortable for you. I like to do pointed. And you're going to pick your foot up and over the blocks like this. Do as many reps as you can. What you can do is if you're doing this workout, I don't know, two or three times a week, every week try and add an extra rep, or you could set a timer and try and go a little bit longer every time you do it. You can also challenge yourself by using higher objects to pick your foot up and over, okay? And um, what you can also do is if you wanna feel this more in your adductors and in your inner thighs, you can tilt your foot here let me show you from this direction so instead of going up like this you can tilt your foot sideways so your your leg is a little bit turned out and you'll feel it more in your adductors as well as your quads okay so it's up to you try different ways of doing it to challenge different muscles so that's the first one the second exercise oh and be sure to do it on both sides of course you're going to start off on one side of your two blocks and there's three different ways you can do this the easiest way pick your foot up bring it across drop it back down and touch and then back to the beginning to make it a little bit harder you're going to pick it up and stop in the air do not lower your foot to the floor come back to the beginning and again slowing this down to make it harder speeding it up to make it easier it's up to you how you want to challenge yourself the hardest version is picking your foot up, bringing it across back and forth without putting your foot on the floor. This uh, will burn very, very quickly. <laughs> You'll feel that in your quads. Okay, so that's the second exercise. Now, the next one, lift the camera a little bit for this one. Lying on our side, working slightly different muscles. Block. Below us here, I'm going to lie with one leg bent, my lower leg, so that it's out of the way of the blocks. And what I'm doing with my other foot is I'm just picking it up and over the block. And that really works the outer part of your thigh and hip and your glutes, okay? And again, you can do different positions, toes pointed. This is more like, you know, roundhouse kick or hook kick. If you want to simulate a side kick, you can have your foot um, in that position up and over, okay? And you're going to do that as many as you can and try and challenge yourself every time. Be sure to do both legs. Next one, um, you can do one or two for this. Actually, I'm just going to do one. It doesn't really matter with this one. It's the same as the second exercise where we're keeping our foot in the air, but we're not going to touch down at all. Pick your foot up and just go back and forth over that block if you want to challenge yourself make it a bit taller okay and again you'll feel this pretty quickly in the side of your leg i already feel it okay so challenge yourself that way you can go higher okay or lower or try and slow down you can try and hold it okay so that is the fourth exercise and the last one is the toughest one so i saved it for last of course it is you're going to be on one knee for this if you find that uncomfortable you can put a pillow or something under your knee for support put your blocks on the floor now with this one it really challenges your balance so feel free to do this beside a wall so you can hang on for support or have a chair beside you if you're feeling wobbly especially if you've been doing all the other exercises you'll really feel it and your balance might not be so great so have the two Blocks on the floor, one knee on the floor, one foot on the floor. We're going to use this leg for the exercise. Hands on your hips or hanging on to something for support. Pick your foot up and over each block. To make it easier, lean back. To make it harder, 
<laughs> lean forward. If you're leaning forward, it's actually not as effective because if you're doing a front kick and you're leaning forward, we know that's not a good technique. So leaning back will simulate, whoa, that front kick more again. You'll feel it right away with your balance and you'll feel it in your lower leg as well as the leg that you're picking up off the floor. So I can feel the burn already in my quad to make it harder. Go with taller objects. Okay, and if this is too hard uh, on your balance, you can just use one, which I'm gonna go with, because of course I did a workout before filming, because I'm smart. Okay, so you can do that. Again, you can see how this can help you with your front kicks, my knees cracking. So it's, it simulates that similar position, right, of bringing your foot up for that kick. So those are the five exercises. Now we're gonna do three quick stretches to stretch out some of the muscles that we used. First one is for hip flexors. So same position, one knee on the floor, one foot on the floor in front of you. You're going to tilt your pelvis until you feel the stretch here in your hip flexors and then just rock forward a bit and you'll feel that nice stretch right there. Do this for 30 to 60 seconds on each side. So that's the first one. The second one, we're gonna stretch our glutes. <laughs> we're gonna lie on the floor. Let's see if you can see me on the camera. And so back on the floor, you're gonna pick one foot up and cross it over your other knee. So like this. You can hold on to that foot, keep it in position. Okay, and then you're gonna grab your, the leg that's on the floor, the foot that's on the floor, grab behind your thigh and pull it towards you. You can push down on that other knee with your hand to get more of a stretch. You'll feel it in the hip uh, and glutes of the leg with your foot up that side. Okay, and be sure to do this both sides, 30 to 60 seconds. And then the last one we're going to do inner thighs. Those ones are often tight and uh, me in particular, I'm sure I'm going to feel this. So on all fours, spread your knees. If you can get down on your elbows, if it's too much, bring your knees closer together. If it's not enough, push them further apart. Okay. And you can kind of rock back and forth into the stretch to feel where it hurts the most in a good stretching way, of course, not a painful injury way. Yeah, I feel it right there. So hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. This is a really good one for better flexibility for kicks. So there's five exercises for stronger hips for karate and some stretches because after that workout, we certainly need it. If you like this video, please comment below. I can make more like this if you're interested. Thanks for watching.